Greetings everyone. In this video, I'll be continuing my series on Salesforce and Superbase on Ubuntu and DigitalOcean. And we'll be exploring how to set up phone authentication. So we'll start by looking at our current environment configuration. And we'll see here that in the phone auth section, we have enable phone sign up and phone auto confirm. Let's check our Docker configuration. Let's go to the auth section. And here we see that we have various options available. And we can see here that it imports the environment variables from the environment file. But this is just to enable phone authentication, but it doesn't actually configure a service provider. So we'll have to do that. And to see how that's done, we can take a look at the official self hosting guide. So if we go to the configuration section, we can see the various services that we use and we can go to go through, which takes us to the go through repository and we can go to example.env. And we can see here, we have a more comprehensive view of the different um, options. Let's go to the phone provider config. And you can see the different providers that we have, Twilio, MessageBird, TextLocal, and Vonage. We're only interested in Twilio for this particular tutorial. So uh, we, since we already have the auto confirm variable, we just copy from go to SMS max frequency up to down to the SMS template. Now we'll go back to our environment file. We're in the auth section. I'll paste that in. Okay. And here we'll need to substitute the Twilio account SID, the auth token. And for the Twilio message service ID, you can either use a Twilio message service SID or you can use your Twilio phone number. So you'll need to make sure that you register for Twilio to get these values. And once that's done, we'll need to import these environment variables into the Docker configuration. Copy it beforehand. And now we shall be good to go. Now we'll restart the container. Now let's double check that everything is working. All right, to complete the process, I'm going to convert the React user management application to use phone authentication rather than magic links. So here you can see that I call auth.signin, passing in my phone number to the phone field. And once I get my token from my message, I then pass it to verify OTP with the phone number and the token. So let's go to the application. Okay, and now I'm going to sign in. The code should be reaching anytime now. Okay, so we have our token 1947.06.
sign in successful. So there you have it. We've enabled phone authentic authentication with our self-hosted Superbase uh, server. So if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more content about Superbase and React Native, feel free to subscribe.